Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woki, and I'm back with some more Dragalia Lost. Today's video is going to be focused on Galilea, who was I was able to get if you watched my summon video. I'm going to be playing around him in three modes, the three modes that you mostly would use a UN unit, um, at least in my stage. I guess these are all endgame stuff, but it's usually a good way to... Mm, I guess everyone uses their character in different ways, but these are the three things that I always end up playing a whole bunch of in Dragalia once I've entered like the last end, end stage of stuff. Some other modes. Anyway, I don't have to explain myself to you. <laughs> anyway, that's going to be today's video. So if you end up liking it, remember to please leave a like. If you want more videos like this, remember to subscribe to me and comment about how much, if you got him, how much you liking him. Are you, do you want to keep going back to him if you failed again? I'm telling you all that stuff. Uh, before we start, I should mention that he is a stance change character, one, the first I've ever used. I believe Mitsuba and it's in Valerio are the two, the first two original ones. I, I remember the chefs being the first ones to get it. I don't remember if there's any others beyond that. Um, so he has this thing, so I end up being, I still am trying to figure out the best time to use whichever one. So his first one is deals wind damage to surrounding enemies and reduce their defense by 5% for 20 seconds. The defense reduction will not stack. If this skill is used during shielding stance, a variant called Sparrow's Protection will be used instead, which gives him 60% defense for 15 seconds. It is two is pinion slash, deal wind damage to the enemy in a line and reduce their strength by 5% for 20 seconds. The strength reduction effect will not stack. Pose and foes take extra damage. If the skill is used during the shielding stance, a variant called parrying slash will be used instead. Parrying slash deals wind damage to enemies directly ahead and inflicts poison. Damage is increased against foes with reduced defense. So I get the... So let's get into it. And this is going to be my team for this video too. Um, yeah. That's good enough. All right, let's get into it, man. Let's do this. So the first one we're gonna go into it is Mercury Gauntlet. Nope, that's not the Mercury Gauntlet. Didn't even look similar to the Mercury Gauntlet. There it is. Uh, as you can see here. I also, these are my two helper skills, which um, I'm kind of debating on whether or not I should buy Pachia's skill. Um, just because he has strength double buff, so every time a defensive skill is used or gained, I believe. I mean, just to be sure the wording. If a team member is attuned to win, increase their strength by 10% for 15 seconds each time they receive a defense up buff. All right. So if Pathia's skill, he would get the, um, he'd be able to give it to everyone and they would get that strength if they were wind, of course. Uh, let's go into it. I'm pretty sure I have this on um, auto. But my win team has been kind of my weakest side. Um, not on the weakest side, but up until recently, it was not the strongest. I only had really one unit, and it was Lin Yu, because uh, I refused to upgrade uh, Hawk. Alright, let's go here. Alright, now he has a sword unit, so I assume that you still want to do the combo. I'm still not good enough at doing the combo, so I drop it constantly. Which is just here. Go here. So that should give him the defense down. And then wait for him to get the shield skill too. Then we're gonna go shield and then go here. And dead. I mean, this is a very early, easy stage for it, but that's just to show some of the stuff off. So long as there is breath in my body, I shall be ever devoted. Yes. I will go back one more time and I'll show the skill one defensive shield of it. So that was so that's the thing about stance changes. When they change stances, they also change the way they attack. Let me show you how he looks. That was him in his regular stance, which is the one you start off with. Let me show uh, shield stance real quick. Uh, uh, go here. And if you can see here in shield stance, he's much slower than when he's in. in um, he also has like his own. He also has his own like different style combo, which I never noticed because I always stop it at two. That he summons a shield. That's pretty cool. All right, let me quickly switch over here. Does that move. This move here. Let me see if his shield has a special. Thing. I know he has a. Yeah, he has one of those. Uh, he has something similar to Gala Alex, where he just rushes in on the foe. We kill him. Yeah, so that's his stuff. I really need to get better with uh, sword combos. I don't know what the current school of sword combo is because they've so changed the animation since fault, the last time I, I used the sword unit. I'm pretty sure it's still two strikes, four strike, 
and you still don't do the full combo? I don't know. You can tell me if um, there's any, if if there's a new tactic for it, or if, depending on the if. I know with Gala Alex, you don't really have to worry about that because it's Gala Alex, so you just kind of go for face at every single point, <laughs> so it doesn't matter. All right. Next is Advanced Dragon Trial. Let's go here. We'll do it on standard. There we go. Going here. Now, because he is a galley unit, he ends up being perfectly good for both modes because he's resist resistant to what both of them do. Uh, to be honest, I don't really remember what you're resistant to in Mercury because you're not supposed to ever get hit by anything. So let's go here. Let's go up here. Shall we know victory? I will go up here. This, this should cause them to go here, and now we can just go go ham on it. Witness my devotion. Go up here. I should be able to beat. Standard should be no problem for me at this point. I think. Witness my devotion. I think I might have I was afraid of one of the AIs dying. I was right to be afraid. Ooh, Spears of Salvation, huh? Oh, wow, wow, with the poison full poison thing, you deal a lot of damage to this dude. <laughs> Mercury is, I believe, a girl. Mm. Um, that dealt a lot of damage. That's the fastest I've ever broken him. Okay, so I'm just gonna end you. Just a little further. We can do it! That's gonna be huge. Uh oh. What a disappointing father. Whoa, what the hell? Oh, he died on me. It should, it should be fine. He was. She was. Mercury was pretty close to dead. I was like, what What was that death cry? I'm such a disappointing father? <laughs> oh, dear, dear. You're a good dog. You're a good father. So long as there is breath in my body, I shall be ever devoted. So here's the one thing I really like about Leaf is that he's actually super freaking fun to use. <laughs> I think he ends up being um, strength-wise pretty pretty decent. I think, um, at least from what I remember, at least the, on the DPS charts I saw, I think he was underneath a couple characters. Obviously, um, not in terms of crazy power. I don't usually pay that much attention to that stuff though. I do pay attention to it for print stuff, obviously, because. That's where I got my prints and half of this team from. Um, Lin Yu I was already using, so it ended up being kind of like a happy accident. I'm gonna go standard. Uh, I'm not strong enough to beat her on expert. Uh, that's how I got the, well, Lerp, to be, to be fair, Lerp, who is one of the founders of uh, Trash Alliance, has been telling me to train up Xanfried because Xanfried is really good for, I believe it was poison people. Oh no, it's because it's this. It's because of Dragon Claws and he gets skill damage. There you go. All right, let's go into Celia. Should be able to beat her, I think. Not really an issue. I mean, let's hope. I'm also not doing co-op, mainly because I'm always... I don't like the idea of ruining someone's co-op if I'm not playing a character effectively. I feel like I do that a good amount of time sometimes. And sometimes I don't care. Uh, but, you know, more lately I do care. Especially with characters that I don't know how they'll be received. And I think currently, if you actually go into Celia Expert, it's nothing but people playing Leo. Okay, so let's go. This is the end. Oh, this Victory part of the fight is so much easier thanks to the, do the dodge ch changes. I will see you slain with the techniques of the palette. Now, this is very unfortunate because I needed um, Lady to Now, oh, perfect. Uh. She has a chance of like completely killing my team if Lin Yu does not uh, land that move, by the way. So that's why I was like very happy that she landed it. Kill her. Well, let's end this. I also need to remember to. Uh oh. That's bad. Yeah, that was his, uh. Whoop. Yeah, she has a. She does this, uh. This move with arrows that has a chance of killing the entire team if I'm not paying attention. Get out of there. Alright. Let's beat her down. 
this here. This. Whoa, he really flies out there. Alright, let's end this. Die. And false salvation. Hmm. Not bad. You good? So long as there is breath in my body, I shall be ever devoted. <laughs> That's Leif. Um, he has. I, know, I checked this time. I'm pretty sure his. Well, because I read it at the beginning, his skill too can be used to poison. Um, but I think he probably wants someone to actually be on poison duty. I don't think anyone on my team poisons people. I don't think so. Last time I said that, someone immediately said, "Yes, you do have someone that poisons people." Um, okay, now I don't. Not from what I can see. No, Lin Yu might cause poison. No. Oh, you know who does? Oh, damn. I really need to get it done. Um, Ranzel with his full uh, mana spiral. Not full, but to level four. I want to say he... He has it. Let me quickly check before I end this video, because now I'm going to be forever um, thinking about it if I don't actually fact check it. It's right here. Yeah, that would be really good to have him on, I think. Uh, at least one of the moves I'd be having him on. Anyway, I digress. Uh, that's Galileo. I really like him a whole bunch. I think he's really cool. I think he's real neat. I look forward to you kind of getting better with him. Uh, there's a lot now that the dodge chan chan the, the dodge changes have been implemented. Um, I'm having a lot more fun with sword units because my problem was always that I never felt confident enough on my combo skills to be able to get enough SP to um, get basically generate enough SP and time to not get completely murdered by a red thing. But now that the dodge changes have been made, it's a little bit easier for me to do it now. But yeah, that's the end of today's video. Uh, once again, if you ended up liking the video, remember to leave a like. It Tell me how you feel him. about him. Tell me if you really well, want him, how badly you want him. And I'll see you guys time, in the next one. Remember to subscribe I'll as well. Try to be mindful All right, until next time, everyone. Goodbye.